Hello, I'm Neil Deavy from Football West and I'm speaking to Sorrento coach Jamie Harnwell. Hi Jamie, um, just ask you about this weekend's game coming up. We had two weeks off with the FFA Cup matches. It was a heavy schedule of the players well rested and they enjoyed the break. Yeah, they, they have. Uh, we gave them the weekend off last weekend. I think they had a bit of a team bonding session and enjoyed themselves on the Saturday. So that, uh, they worked hard uh, last week, we, uh, worked hard on Tuesday as well and, and taper off now. So hopefully uh, they'll be a bit fresher. Um, there's a few tired legs coming into that, uh, that last bye. Last game, draw with Fl uh, Floriot. Broke a little losing run for you, but frustrating. So I've let a leg goal in and missed missed out on the chance of a victory? Yeah, it was. Uh, I think the performance in the second half was probably one of our, our best of the season. It should have been three or four goals up. We should have been clear. Um, uh, just a, a lapse defensively. Uh, you know, in the last minute, we just switched off. Unfortunately, cost us. But, uh, you know, that second half performance was good. Um, the players know what they've got to do. The training the last couple of weeks has been superb, really sharp. And uh, it's, a, it's a great game for us against ECU to get back up and try and get back on the winner's list. ECU tuned a lot. Um, they had a rocky patch maybe about a month ago. Two heavy defeats at home, but seems to have steadied this year. Yeah, they have obviously a great win for them in the in the cup match on the weekend. And uh, like I said to my players, the game against CCU has got nothing to do with the tactics. It's uh, it's about going out, working hard, and and which team is prepared to work harder and, and uh, put their bodies on the line. So the rest of it goes out the window a little bit with the, with these games, and uh, we just got to make sure we, we turn up and we want to win. And how how's the team news for your team? Yeah, we, we lost a, lot, a couple of players uh, through the transfer window, but you know we've got uh, some good youngsters who stepping in. Jackson Tomato, who's come in recently, Joel Proud will be coming back soon from a hamstring injury as well. So I'm comfortable with the, the squad we've got. Um, we've still got a bit of depth, and uh, and looking forward to those players getting more of a chance to show what they can do. And how was the transfer window for Sorrento? Pretty uh, quiet, actually. Uh, yeah, we lost a couple of players. We made a, a couple of inquiries, but you know we're, we're not a club that goes around and um, you know tries to bring in players here, there, and everywhere. We've got uh, pretty good criteria in bringing people into the club, and uh, we'd pr much prefer to, to promote the youth of uh, Sorrento through than, than bring other people in. Last time we spoke, you were looking at top four, even though you were at the lower reaches of the table. Is that still a reasonable? Ambition for the club? Well, it depends on the results, doesn't it? You know, if we get a win this weekend, it suddenly we can start to look up again. Uh, the, the talents there to play in the top four of that, I've got no doubt. Uh, for various reasons, that hasn't come out strongly enough uh, so far in the first half of the season. But you know, there's a real determination. Uh, there's a real good character amongst the group at the moment. They want to do better and they want to push and, and see how far they can go. And you know, that'd be some story if we can, can climb up there after being where we are now at the halfway point. Okay, Jamie, thanks for your time. Appreciate My pleasure. It.